Hello and welcome, my name is Israel Lopez, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about our new ODBC installer. So what is it? Uh, the ODBC installer is a solution to a problem that I've been seeing for a while. If you've been following my YouTube channel, uh, you've noticed that I've talked a lot about uh, business intelligence for Fishbowl using something called ODBC. I've made videos on Microsoft Excel, Power BI, and so and, and many others. And in each video, I preface it when we need to use ODBC that it takes a while. I even have another YouTube video that's 10 minutes long on how to do it. But instead, what I've decided to do was actually sit down and make an application to make this easy. Um, I'm a Fishbowl expert, and I know what it takes to make the connections work. So I figured, hey, why not? Let's give it a shot. So what I've created is an application that set up, sets up the ODBC connectivity uh, much faster than the video. And you'll be using this for applications like Microsoft Excel, Power BI, or even ship shipping solutions for UPS, FedEx, and Indicia. You'll need the ODBC installer zip, which you can download off of this page uh, down um, using my, my hands. You can't see it. I'll put an arrow or something. Uh, on the right-hand side of the screen, there's a little name and email address. Just you know, please fill it out. Um, I need to know who's using the application. Um, and the idea would be that you'd get an email, you'd download the zip file, and you'd go ahead and open it. Next, you'll need is your Fishbowl admin credentials. Definitely admin. If you use any other users, you may have a problem, although you can use it if your user has access to the data module. Let's get started. Let me show you exactly how this is going to work. I went ahead and downloaded the zip file off of my website and it's sitting here in my downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead I'm going to go ahead here ahead here and extract my files. And there I go. Here's the application. First thing you're going to want to do is right click on it and run as administrator. It will install applica uh, other applications to your computer, like something called an ODBC driver. And in order to do so, I need to ha be able to run as administrator. Uh, your first problem would be probably happen here because if some people may work in a restrictive IT environment, may not be allowed to download applications from the internet. That's basically how we get viruses. Uh, and I definitely understand that. So you're going to have to work with your IT professional to uh, get around this. Uh, if not, there's not much I can do, but uh, let, send, shoot me an email and see what we can do from there. Uh, run as administrator. You'll get this prompt indicating that this file came from the internet. You're going to want to make sure you know what's going on. I assure you this is not a virus. And here we go. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, talk about how this is going to work. So what it's doing is it went out and looked, uh, searched for Fishbowl server installations, much like the client, and gets that detail ready for you. Shows you the company name and uh, details the address and port. Now, if you have multiple Fishbowl servers on your on your network, uh, it may come up with one that's incorrect. So go ahead and adjust the address and port, much like the Fishbowl client, and you'll be able to log in. Next is you're going to go ahead and type in your Fishbowl username and password. In this case, this is the Bicycles Unlimited database, and that's admin and admin. And when you click on install now, you'll probably receive a message indicating that your uh, application is not approved to connect to Fishbowl. If you get that, go ahead, go ahead and log into Fishbowl, go to Setup, Company, Integrated Apps, ODBC Setup, and then Approve. That easy. You do this once, and if you run this on this tool on multiple computers, you won't have to do this again. You just need to do it once. And uh, next, you'll see is the ODBC options. Uh, depending on the situation, we're going to go ahead and set up 32-bit or 64-bit ODBC. Don't worry about that. I'll have another video on how to use 32-bit versus 64-bit. And actually, most of the videos, it'll just kind of work because you'll be typing the right thing anyway. But I do indicate that 32-bit is best for Microsoft Office applications and shipping applications, and 64-bit ODBC is better for Microsoft Power BI because that's a 64-bit application. Next is you're going to click on Install Now. Now what it's doing is it's downloading the right files off the Internet and installing them for you and then configuring the system to have everything ready to go based on this the information from Fishbowl. And that's it. We're done.
That's that's literally easy. So once you have your username and password, you check the two boxes and you click on install now. Downloads from the internet, however long that takes, and like I said, you're you're done. Uh, if you have any more questions about this, um, please know that there's a EULA attached to the application. I want to protect myself. I don't want this to blow up your factory. But hey, you know if it burn, uh, if your computer catches fire, you know, oh well, it's never designed to do that. But who knows? I been surprised. And if you have information you want to talk to us about maybe having an application for your enterprise to kind of push out configurations a lot faster, a little easier, please give us a ring. We have a, a internal tool to, to do that, which doesn't have any of this uh, application usage data or anything like that. And if you have some problems, go ahead and click on the support link. It'll bring us to our support page. And I already have some documentation here about, you know, the requested registry access is not allowed. You need to run it as administrator. But that's basically it. So if you have any further questions or comments, please let us know via our Contact Us page or here on the YouTube page. Thanks and have a good day.